which it brings me back to the fight clubs um Mars brigade is kind of like he i think he kind of thinks like the way i do i'm not sure though like don't quote me on it uh, but from what i get from him and he kind of thinks the way i do they like in fight clubs there's nothing but tryhards salty players and like kitana users and the, the people that don't like to challenge themselves you know like i said like for instance me i started playing with 56 poise i went down to 36 to 35 poise i went down to 21 poise and now i play with no poise sometimes you know most of the times i'm playing with no poise this, see this is this is this is the old this is 35 points right there hollow skirt um hollows uh, uh hollow skirt uh hollow soldiers uh no, i mean hollow skirt and the uh, hollow's gauntlet and i'm a magic character here i don't even remember me being a magic character like i said this is really really old i just need to get rid of all this footage but like I said, I think Morris Brigade and I sit on the same boat where like we both don't like fight clubs because of the way that we think that I guess pure tryhards and you know, it, 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 I don't know, dude. I fought fight clubs before and you get people. This is what you get in fight clubs, okay? You're fighting. Once you put them on low HP, they switch to a freaking, they, they, they hot swap to the red tear stone ring and a spear. They everybody does that in fight clubs. They swap to a red tear stone ring and a spear. Like, oh my god, it's so annoying, dude. And then they start poking you. Like, like is that not a try hard or what? And most of them, most of them, I'm not saying all of them wear mask of the mother. Most of them. And I'm not saying there's bad players in fight clubs. There's a re there's really really good players in fight clubs. But you know what? This brings me to another point. So now th there you go, guys. That's why I don't like fight clubs, or I don't do fight clubs. Um, more power to you if you do them. I don't hate you. I don't want anything. Sometimes I sit there and, and watch fight clubs. Me personally, I don't do fight clubs because of all the salt and people talking about people. But that we already went through all that. I even forgot about the other point that, that I was gonna make right now. Uh, I was gonna say that brings me to my my other point, but I forgot. So let's see. We can talk about. Oh yeah, I bought a new hard drive, which is like um, a bummer because I bought it and I had to take it back because, see, the way I record my videos is that I have a capture card, right? I have an Avery Media capture card and I record with Fraps. So I get the image from my computer, from, I get the image from my, pl okay, I have an HDMI that goes from my PlayStation to HDMI splitter and then that splitter or I'll make it more easier for you guys to understand me easier I have a HDMI that goes from my my PS3 to my to the back of my capture card my computer and then I have this program named Arbor Media that I open and I can see the image and I can play on my monitor screen like I don't I don't need two monitors I don't need to have because I get no no legacy like I don't because since I don't record with the built-in software I don't record with the built-in software of my capture card I record with fraps because I have a pretty decent computer. I mean, I have a Intel Core i7, um, 16 gigs of RAM. I have the Intel Core i7 3770K, um, 16 gigs of RAM, and I have a gigabit motherboard, and I have two SSDs on RAID 0, and then I have four mechanical hard drives, which is, um, they're Hitachi, and they're like two terabytes each. And that's where I, I store all my footage because you guys know that Fraps, re Fraps is like, it gives you big freaking files, dude. And that's why I'm always telling you guys like, oh, I have all this footage. I have all this footage. Maybe it's not a lot of footage. It's just that I have huge ass files. Like each file probably is four or five gigs, gigabytes or more. But, um, and that's why I was like, you know what? I'll, today that I was going to um, do this video because I bought the hard drive. I, and I was like, I'm gonna do the longest video that I have edited, which it was this one because I bought the hard drive and I had to take it back because it was an I bought an external hard drive, um, a four terabyte, four terabyte, yeah, uh, four thousand gigabytes. I'm pretty sure that's four terabytes. Um, so I I bought a four terabyte hard drive, and since the way I record when I when and I already knew this, but I thought that it, it was because it was gonna be USB 3.0. Um, and the way that I tried it before was USB 2.0, so I was like, well, this is USB 3.0, so it should have worked. You know, I shouldn't get any any lag, but it didn't work because as soon as I hit record, if it's an external hard drive, I, I lag. Like, my whole game lags. I don't know why. It just happens. 
that like it, it like it, it's unplayable like, i can't play it like that and then when i watch the recording it's lagging so it was a two terabyte seg i mean a four terabyte seg um and it cost me 170 something dollars but i had to take it back i think i'm gonna have to buy a, a, an an internal like a mechanical hard drive that goes inside your computer a four terabyte one but i didn't want to do that because i wanted to keep my hard drives that i already have there because those hard drives, I pay like 150 for each one of them. You know, like, I don't know. I have spent a lot of money. I love, love technology. Like, technology is my thing. I love computers. The computer that I have, I built it. Um, I, I have, I'm not trying to brag, guys. I just have like four computers. Like, not four, three computers. And I just love technology. I have opened my PS3 before. I have cleaned it. When my PS3 got the yellow light of death, I fixed it. I, I don't know. I'm just a sucker for technology, I guess. I, I, I don't know. I love technology. Computers, programs, um, game. I, I just love everything about technology. Um, so, I'm gonna... And I have spent so much money, dude. So much money on these hard drives. And these Hitachi hard drives, I can't even recommend them to you guys because... If I put this hard, it's so weird. I don't know if it's my motherboard, if it's the hard drives, but if I put this Hitachi hard drives in the Ray Zero, it like the the hard drives crash. Like my computer crashes constantly. Like before, I bought two um two SSDs. I put my four hard drives. Well, actually, I have five, but one of them broke. And then I called Hitachi, and they told me to mail it, but I never mailed it. I don't know. I'm just too lazy. I'm lazy like that. Okay. They gave me an address. They gave me, I think I had to pay it out of my pocket. I don't know. I think they print me or they send me some, an email with the UPS, um, serial code or UPS something that I have to do with like label it, uh, like, like print it and, and tape it to the box or some shit. And, and, and then take it to a local UPS store. I think just take a box to a local UPS store and they were going to print it to me over there and, and stamp it and send it. I never did though. And I'm pretty sure the warranty is out by now because I've been having this hard drive for around two years and the warranty was for one year, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I had a maybe I had the hard drive for four years and the warranty was for two years. All I know is the guy told me you have like two weeks to send it. If not, this gets canceled and um and make sure you send it before your warranty runs out, which it was like he told me it was like five more months of warranty and then your warranty is gonna be out. And I was like, yeah, 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 I'll send it. And I just never got to it. I just never took it. I guess I could have had an extra hard drive. Even though if I had an extra mechanical hard drive that goes inside your computer, I can't put it in my computer because all of the, all of the spots in my motherboard are taken. Like, everything is taken. Like, I, I don't have any more space or I don't, ha don't have any more, um, what do you call it? Where the SATA, where the eSATA goes to the hard drive. I don't even know what they're called. But basically, the, the, there's a cable that goes to your hard drive, to the motherboard, and that's what reads the, 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 that's what your computer reads, and that's how you're able to get into the hard drive, and you can see everything. So, I think I'm gonna go the route where I have to buy a 4 terabyte hard drive. I'm gonna probably buy two of them, and maybe put them in RAID 0, or maybe not, because that is pretty, uh, I don't, that's not, I don't know. Raid, uh, raiding hard drive, like putting two hard drives in a raid, is, 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 um, you're taking chances because the way you're taking chances is that if one of those hard drives goes, you're fucked. All of your data is gone and you're effed. You're losing all of your data because Ray Zero, the way Ray Zero works is like, it'll make your computer a lot faster or the hard drive will work a lot faster because it's two hard drives and the, the, the data is going on both of the hard drives right like like it's going on both of the hard drives so you have two hard drives spinning at the same time and the data is being um distributed i don't know the word like it's being i don't know the word distributed uh, you guys know the word in, in equal in each hard drive so it's like one gig here one gig to the other hard drive and it's like that right so if you put one of those hard drives out it, it, it won't it, it will be corrupted data because like it's, it's going on both of the hard drives so if one of those half the one of those hard drives break you're effed you're 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 literally effed because all of your data is going to get corrupted and you're not going to have any data and you're not there's no way to get it back so that's why a lot of people don't recommend for you to do that but then it's like you get caught up in this like because it's really speedy if you put like for instance, I have two SSDs on RAID 0, and that's where I have my Windows. Like, my computer starts within 15 seconds. Like, 18 seconds, I'm already in, I'm already on YouTube uh, within the 18-second mark. 
so if you raid like um two terabyte like uh, like the way i had it four terabyte five terabyte hard drive raid zero like my computer was really really speedy but then like i said those hitachi hard drives i don't know if it's my motherboard that doesn't get along with the hard drives or is the hard drives broken but every time i raid them in raid zero like i would like freaking like my computer would crash it, or i just have a lot of problems so i can't have them in raid zero